Okay, so at the end of episode two, we got a phone call from Salvatore Leone's wife, Maria, and also Tony's mom. Okay, well, I'll talk about it a bit more. So as you can see on the map, uh, wait, 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 wait. I have to take this. Yo, Kyle, how do you take us out? Legend off. Yeah. Now we can go to these missions. This is Masipriani and then Maria. We'll do that after we do Salvatore's mission. So. This strike will continue until I get some assurances from this city. Mafiosi thinking they can run the Union can think again. Listen to this shit. They don't scare me. I got bigger balls than all of them. I should call a hit on this bitch. She's taking me for a ride. Well, two can play at that game. Tony, you're gonna deliver a message for me. And that message is that we go to the radio station and find that head radio chick. She was there from the mission where we, um, we had to escape from the ferries and from getting beaten up where we had to confront that woman. I forgot her name was. I think it was the same girl. Um, so, pretty interesting mission, right? Pretty nice mission. Uh, pretty doable. Um, all you need to do is go to the head radio uh, station. Uh, right here. And what you need to do is kill the chauffeur. Because she's going to go to a limbo. And There you go. We have to kill her. And look what happens next. We take the clothes of the chauffeur, and I become the chauffeur myself. And that's the, the woman, ugly looking chick, fat. Oh, she can run. That's surprising. Um, Harwood Ferry Station and step on it. You said it. Yeah, so all you need to do, because I'm the chauffeur, the message is... Take it easy, we're not in a race. All we need to do is driver. scare Who her. The hell are you? Shut up. From now on, you do exactly what Salvatore Leone tells you to. Capiche? I I refuse to be scared by this. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so there's a scare meeting on my right. So just do some collisions and do some really mad turds and stuff like that. Just drive like a maniac. Maybe go over here, this is a really good place. Please, you'll kill us both. Now make sure you don't destroy the vehicle. We don't want her killed. Because if she's dead, then we cannot... Uh, obviously, we'll get in big trouble. Especially with Salvatore Leone. Um, obviously, we'll be accused as Leone that we killed her. Right? So we have to keep her alive. Just one more kill... One more. Okay, okay, I've had enough. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, that was so close. So we have to take the hopper chick to whatever that's called the hopper line. <laughs> right here. Ah. Alright, be careful because one more crash will lead the, the limbo on fire. So you have to be very careful and find. Ah, uh, where is it? Where's the entrance of that yoke? Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. And don't forget our little agreement, lady. You tell him, Tony. All right. So now we have unlocked the chauffeur alpha. Now we have to escape from this hellhole. All right. So I'm in Tony's. Mom's house. Alright. What's going on here? I thought we were going to get shot. Anyway, so. She is a very weird woman. And you will find out why. Snappy dresser. Ma? It's me, I'm back. Tony? Where the hell have you been? Not one phone call all the time you were away. They don't have phones where you were. 
Oh, come on, Ma. You know I couldn't call. A real man would have called his mother. You could learn a thing or two from Giovanni Cotta. He calls his mother every day. Now, he's a good man. And his Sicilian sources is the best in town. Casa, but Ma, Casa ain't no good man. He's a pervert. That's just a foul mouth rumor. What kind of man are you, Tony? All right, Ma, whatever you say. Maybe I'll go give Giovanni a call, see what he's up to. Okay, so as you can see, actually, well, we have to run over a woman. She was in the way. Anyway, so we have to get a camera and uh, pretty much prove that Ca Giovanni Casa bloke is uh, a pervert. Yeah. Very nice camera. So what was I going to say? Yeah, before uh, I'll talk about the camera itself and then I'll talk about... Now, she is a big bully. You'll find out why. She does something much worse than just calling him names and comparing people, his own son, to people. So I'll, I'll talk about it very later on. Um, uh, yeah, she's a very weird woman. Anyway, so the camera... You cannot find the camera anywhere in GTA whereas like in San Andreas obviously you could find a camera in your house and things like that but in this game the only way to get a camera I think I'm in the mood for some loving yeah so the only way to get a camera is do this mission but if you use all these three cameras all the three uh, you know films I think that's called at the time well, you can never get it again. Obviously, the way to do get the camera again is do all the missions again and until you reach this mission, pretty much. So, what we're gonna do is don't go. We have to follow Giovanni Casa. Now, I'm gonna mention one thing. You see, Tony is not very uh, a protagonist kind of guy. He's more antagonist protagonist, and you'll find out why in a later on mission. And yes, it does involve Giovanni Casa we'll find out hopefully maybe in this episode or maybe in this episode next episode sorry um oh looks like Casa found some action all right so we're in this forest yoke uh don't we'll go inside uh while well, he's here obviously because he will suspect but what you need okay, to do ladies give me a minute here will you I'm gonna change into something that's a little more me. Very more him, huh? Okay, ladies, it's milk time. Who's gonna be mama? Oh my. Ah, oh, come on, girls, get with the program. Ah! Yeah. So pretty much, you have to sneak up on Casa. I mean, that's a good deed. That's a good deed he's doing, uh, Tony to expose perverts like him and his likes um uh... oh god oh god don't look at me yeah nice so, so now we have the camera now we're going to take it to see the uh, I was just gonna say CJ, Tony's mom's place. To prove to her that Giovanni Casa is a pervert. Hey Ma! Take a look at my photo. It's of your good man Giovanni Casa wearing a goddamn diaper. Is this how you spend your time? Sneaking around in the woods, taking pictures of men? What is wrong with you, Antonio? You shame me. But and diaper or no diaper, he's still a better man than you. Man, she's absolute messed. I'm telling you. She does much worse than that, believe me. Ma! Ma! Come on, Ma, speak to me! There's no more here for you no more, you coward. You can't fool me. I know why you don't move back in here. You're running scared of some triad. 
your father, God rest his soul, wouldn't let no one run him out of his own home. Mama! But unlike you, your father wasn't yellow. Until Destroyer showed you some respect, you're no son of mine. A daughter, maybe, but not a son. <sighs> so, what we need to do is prove that to Tony's mother that he can handle some triads in Chinatown. And let's go. Yeah, so don't bother shooting them. Uh. Oh, that was so close, man. Yes. Man, I almost got killed. I didn't realize my car was on fire. This is Tony Cipriani kicking your asses. Remember that name, fishheads. <laughs> fishheads. Anyway, now we have to take out another fish truck in Chinatown. You have to find it. I'm looking. Oh my god! Look at that! The, it was flying! Man, the van thought uh, that he. Uh, the, the, <laughs> no! Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Come on, get, get inside the. Get inside the car, Tony, yeah. Get this fat woman out. She needs to do cardio by walking. Why is she driving the car in the first place? Anyway, uh, maybe I'll get a, no AK-47. Uh, yeah, shotgun. That'll do. Okay. That's that's so easy. <laughs> but man, what the hell was that? Look at you. You look so thin. If you were still living here with your mother like a son should, you'd be eating right. And look at those cars you drive. You shame me, Antonio. Really, you do. People will think I brought you up wrong. Well, what can I do, Ma? You know I'd do anything for you. That Zippo boy's racing downtown today. If only you were more like him. He treats his mother with real respect. Of course, if your father was here, he'd win the race and take the smug grin off that sick old boy's face. Yeah, he'd make him eat lead. Ah, your father was a real man. Good ball. Man, I'm getting sick and tired from hearing that, honestly. So, basically, he's just pleasing his mom. Like, if I was him, I would just, like, abandon her straight away. And just not do anything with her because he just bullied me. You know? Which is just unacceptable, honestly. So, yeah. We have to go take a race. Uh, take out the geezer named Sucho. Um. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but. Maybe I could be wrong. Or I could be right. So we just ran them off, yep! <laughs> we ran them off! Now, uh, racing in GTA is hard in my opinion, but um, if you just put a good, nice little practice, just uh, know how to turn because there's a lot of turning as well. Uh, what I like to do is, is like I press brake 
slightly. Like that, just tap it because that will slow down and I could just you know, move. Still move and, and, and keep up the pace instead of just crashing. Um, you don't have to put in full pace. Um, like, this is not a you know, full uh, speed, honestly. But it's enough to, you know, win your race. It's all about, you know, control. See how I dodge past the lampos? That's what you do. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Yeah, I can't speak English. Um, pretty straightforward, you know. Um, if you know what you're doing, and just take your time. It's not like there's no rush. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, just take your time, and you should be grand. That's the musty way of winning races, pretty much in GTA. And uh, yeah. Shut up with your trash talking. If you beat, you bet Sucho now take him out. Woohoo! By a sub to machine gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Oh my god, what the hell was that? I just hit a fire hose. And Two hours later. I dodged that tree. Oh yeah, he's making a run for it, boys. Shoot him! Yes! Ah! Ten thousand dollars by shooting a bloke named Sucho. I made a name for myself on the underground car racing circuit, whatever that called. The brief just disappeared as soon as I finished reading it. Oh, here we go. Ma, Ma, you there? I ain't talking to you no more, Tony. You shame your Sicilian roots. After you took that photo of Casa, he stopped paying his protection money. And what are you doing about it? Nothing. Your father would have turned him into meatballs by now. Casa might be a bit funny, but it takes guts to snub a Cipriani. I only wish you had his guts. You wish I had Casa's guts? Okay, Ma, you ask for him. You tell him, Tony. Now this is the mission where this proves that Tony Cipriani is sort of messed up in his own head. And you'll find out why. Because he's this guy's not compared to like Carl Johnson from San Andreas or people like, I don't know, Franken from GC5. But Tony is a bit, you know, messed up. What he's gonna do will shock you to Shreds. Hi, Tony. How you doing? What's up? You and me are gonna talk, Casa. Just somewhere more private. All right. Yeah. We'll take this bike. There you go. So we have to go to a certain. Where, where are we going? Yeah. So we have to go to a certain location. Um. Uh... So cool, ain't we, Tony? We'll, we'll take this ramp. I'll get you the money, I owe, honest. And you're talking while I'm in the air. Boom. <laughs> I just need some time. Man, we just fall down and you're just still talking like a normal person. Like what the hell? Hey, does your master like a spicy sausage? I can get us some, no problem. Alright, oh. Oh wait, that ah, nice now. Nah, we we got the man that okay. All right, so we have we're in this location, and you will find out what we're gonna do. So, uh, what do you want to talk about, Tony? Is it the protection money? It is, isn't it, Tony? Hey, uh, we can talk about this, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah, talking is good. People just don't talk enough these days, Tony. Stand there and shut your yap, Casa. Yeah, okay, Tony, but I don't feel comfortable. Hey, easy with that, Tony. It's, it's the on switch for the... No! Alright, so what you need to do... 
is kill him. Let's do it. Help. Well, I just had him. Hey, come on. <laughs> come at me, yeah. Well, Take it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I messed up myself. Oh, look at this. That was quick. Oh, right, let's get the hell out of here. So pretty much, he made sausages out of Casa's meat. This is how, oh my god. This is how messed up Tony actually is. In order to appease his own mother, because she's such a bully, he pretty much killed Casa in such a disgusting fashion. Now all you need to do, of course, whenever there's a police coming after you, what's the number one rule? Go to pay and spray. That will solve your issue, no problem. This is the rule of the GTA textbook. How to get away from the police? Go to pay and spray. I don't know if it works in real life, but in GTA, yes, it will definitely work. Where originally we found the casa, now we're, he's come back with dead meat. In dead meat, pretty much, yeah. Special sausage meat delivery? No one told me about this. Whoa! Which zoo did we knock off this time? There's loads of meat back here. Mmm, tasty. Okay, I'll take them. It's a good thing casa ain't here. If he finds out about this, he'll go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is mess. What are you doing? Do you think CJ would ever do something like that in 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 San Andreas? Would you? Would he? Would he do something like that, bruh? That that just shows that you know the Leone are not really necessarily good. They're quite selfish. Salvatore Leone wasn't really a good guy either. Um, obviously they won't gain because they're mafia, so... Yeah, you'd think they're a protagonist, but... We are playing as antagonists, actually. Okay, so we're here for the next mission. Second last mission of this episode for today, lads. I know it's all on Tony's bomb, but this mission is crazy. Ma, you there? Tony? I'm just on the phone. Yeah, he's here now. Okay, okay, I'll show him. Fine. Tony? Come to upset your mother again, huh? You spend all day playing the tough guy? You never come to see me. Or bring home any nice girls. But who'd want to anyway? You look so pasty and thin. You're trying to kill me with the shame and the worry. Well, no more. From this point on, we're through. I've called a hit on you. It's really the only way, Antonio. What? Ma? You were always a disobedient boy. It's for the best, son. At least try to die like a real man. Try to stop shaming me. On this mission, this is where she went too far. She literally got a hitman on her own son. Can you imagine? This is messed up, lad. Yeah, okay. We have to kill all these hitmen, of course. Obviously, we don't want to die. Oh, what do we have here? Man, it's really hard to come on because sometimes you cannot see. At times. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. There we go. Wait, wait. We get the target. I'm armed, fool. We just blew this car up. Yeah, there we go. And then I think there's another car. Okay, here we go.
Yeah, I'm gonna use the AK-47 on this. I think this car will blow up. And then other cars will blow up as well. Oh, nope, okay. We're doing well so far, that's... Well, we had to kill a pedestrian because she was in the way. Oh no, 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 no! There we go! Yes! Now, we have passed the mission. Now, we I think we all done. As you can see right here, now the hitmen have been paid to basically kill me. So they will come now every now and then. So yeah. Now we're gonna do Maria's mission. Now Maria is the wife of Salvatore Leone. She's kinda weird. Just like, but not as messed up as uh, your uh, Tony's mom. So, shop until you drop, here we go. You're late. Typical man. I want to go shopping and you're driving. So help me, I'm going to have some fun today, even if it kills you. I just need to finish getting ready. Eh, screw it, I'm gorgeous. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Absolute ugly duckling. Um, so we have to take Maria to the shop. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it kind of gets crazier than that obviously as you know it's gta but not as bad as like the castle mission where the dead meat mission yeah but i just wanted to see what it looked like in the daylight take your goddamn hands off me let's get out of here uh then obviously the mafia obviously she has to steal shoplift i believe and now we have to escape the heat Okay, she said, okay, we have to take her to the shop. Well, there was one star, so it's easy to be lost. So, it should be no problem. Keep the engine running. Come on, Maria, no more stealing. Oh, hush, Tony, baby. That was all a misunderstanding back there. Watch out for those car jackets. I'm telling you, I don't have anything hidden up there. Get the hell off of me. Stop! Thief! Get me back to my place! There we go! <laughs> we shot the, the geezer. We go, oh, I think he shot us. No! Get the hell out of here! Where's Maria? Oh, one of our po tires has popped. You have to be really careful here. Oh, there's a star right there. Cool! You find police bribe. By collecting them, reduces your one to down by one star. Well, you don't have to bring them. had a great time today. Maybe you can drop by later and we can have some more fun. See you later, handsome. Yeah, just so you know, now you, you don't have to go to, you know, the, the uh, police, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm off. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys have a very nice day.